Okay, here I have drawn two sketches of a part of a respiratory system known as larynx. So this component is larynx only. Technically, this is hyoid bone. Uh, it is not considered part of the larynx. And I've intentionally tried to keep it as simple as possible for students by not drawing some ligaments, muscles, nerves, uh, etc. And we are going to learn a little bit more about larynx today, mostly macroanatomy and a, a little bit of physiology. The sketch on the left is a frontal view or anterior view as it is known as in medical terms, as if the person is standing in front of you and is looking at you and facing you. The other sketch is a sagittal cross section as if you cut this in half, turn it around and look at it. So this is the anterior side. This is the anterior side, okay, facing this way. And this is the posterior side, posterior aspect. Larynx is an important part of the respiratory system and is located between pharynx and trachea. Uh, this is pharynx over here and this is trachea. It is located anteriorly to the neck, so this is the posterior side. Uh, cervical spine is here, so it is anterior to cervical spine and it is anterior uh, in the neck, okay? So larynx is anterior along with trachea and other uh, respiratory parts. It is also known as voice box as one of the important functions of larynx is to produce sounds. And another important function of larynx is to prevent food from entering into the lungs. It allows only air to pass through to lower respiratory tracts. Larynx performs this function by closing the airway abruptly upon mechanical stimulation from food, thereby halting respiration momentarily and preventing entry of foreign matter into the airway. This is made possible with the help of a small fibrocartilage known as epiglottis. So this is epiglottis here. This is epiglottis side view. The epiglottis is the most superior part of the larynx. It is a flap of leaf shaped fibrocartilage which folds over the glottis. So it will fold down over the glottis. So the glottis is somewhere here. Uh, upper part of the epiglottis is broad and round and the lower part is narrow as you can see here. During breathing or speaking the epiglottis is pointed upwards but becomes more horizontal during swallowing with the elevation of hyoid bone. This also directs the foot into esophagus. The epiglottis is attached to thyroid cartilage. Okay, so this hole is thyroid cartilage and also to the hyoid bone. So this is hyoid bone, okay, which is technically not part of the larynx. The term glottis is used to describe the part of the larynx that contains vocal cords. So this, this is one vocal cord out of two that are located within the uh, larynx and attached to uh, thyroid cartilage. And there's an opening between them. So opening and the vocal cords are compoundly known as glottis. The glottis is essential in the development and creation of speech in humans. Larynx is formed by nine cartilages and several ligaments that hold them together. Three of these cartilages are unpaired. Thyroid cartilage, which is this one, is the largest cartilage of larynx. It is, is, it is semicircular in shape and has a prominent ridge at the front side or interior side. The thyroid cartilage is composed of two rectangular laminae that are fused anteriorly in the midline. So this is the posterior part of the thyroid cartilage which is visible here and as it comes so this is not a complete circle on this side on the posterior side but as it comes forward anteriorly they fuse together to laminae. The incomplete fusion of two laminae superiorly forms the thyroid notch here. The thyroid cartilage is connected above to the hyoid bone which is uh, by a ligament known as thyroid membrane. So this is thyroid membrane and there are some other 
uh, muscles that I have not drawn here, uh, which probably will be discussed in the next video. The thyroid cartilage also attaches to the anterior ends of the vocal cord. So these are the anterior ends of the vocal cords. So this is the posterior end. And okay, found this uh, wonderful picture on a Wiki website. So this is an endoscopic view. This is actually a photograph. Uh, with the help of camera that has been put into the mouth, into the larynx, okay. And this is epiglottis number three, which is connecting anteriorly to the thyroid cartilage here. This is a vocal fold. Uh, this is the second vocal fold, and there is an opening there, which commonly known as so. These vocal folds plus the opening here is known as glottis. This is epiglottis and this is glottis. So during the swallowing process when you're eating something, this fibrocartilage will fold over onto this area, fold over onto the glottis, closing the uh, respiratory tract momentarily and halting the respiration for uh, the time when you swallow uh, and thus opening the esophagus which, is, which lies here. So this is the posterior part uh, and this is the anterior part. This, this is the the, the, this is the anterior part of the uh, picture uh, and uh, that's it thank you very much so we'll cover some more uh, about physiology and about some more muscles and uh, nerves and, and blood supply in the next video thank you very much